Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies, who are today in the FA Cup taking on West Ham United. It's nervous and exciting times for the Wimbly Womblies because this is a winner go home competition. We either win today or we don't get to keep playing in the FA Cup and, or we tie, in which case, you know, we, you know we, we, then we have to play them again. We're very tired. We don't want to do that. So we'd like to win. Buxton wants to win. But everybody wants to win. That's the nature of life. Today I'm going to talk about being old and uh, liking stuff that's quote-unquote for young people, specifically about like old nerd fighters like myself, the, the young nerd fighters, and if there's anything to the demographic uh, differences there. First, a quick update on the, uh, on the squad. Today we're starting, uh, it's a stunning turn of events. We're starting Seb Brown in goal. He saved two penalties against Manchester City to win us the FA Cup uh, a couple seasons ago, so we believe in him. 100%, um, and that's unrealistic that Andy Carroll's playing for West Ham because he's always injured. And then um, we've got Osea and Rocker uh, anchoring our defense. Up front, we have John Green and John Green, teammates in life and in love. Two men uh, who love each other, raising, raising a kid together, uh, married now for some 10 years, uh, and very, very excited to be playing, still playing professional football. It's a beautiful thing you know, when you can do what you love into your old age. You know, soccer is a young man's game. Um, you know, most professional players, I think the average age of a professional soccer player is like 25, 26. And, um, wow, that was one of the worst. How did you manage to be offside that far away? Good offside trap, Wimbly Womblies. Um, right. But, uh, and then, you know, like the oldest, I mean, Steven, Steven Gerrard is considered like wicked old and he's 30, 34, I think. Um, so I think that, uh, it's, it's comparable in a way. Uh, to talk about Ball John Green and other John Green. We're talking about the sort of professional demographics of uh, get up, get up, case ain't loose. Save that ball. Good job. I love it. I love it. To Ball John Green. Shoot. Oh, it's a beautiful save. What a great play from the Wimbly Womblies, though. Some nice fluid passing. Ball John Green asks for the ball, gets it, gets it. Oh, what else do you want? Um, yeah, so there, there are a few old soccer players, by which I mean like in their 30s, but the vast majority are extremely young. It's a young person's... Oh, saved off the line. It's a young person's game, and... Um, oh! He scores with his left. He scores with his right. That less more makes some more look shite. That's a beautiful goal. Just pounded it into the corner of the net. Less more is a finisher. People have been talking smack about him, saying that we need to start... Um, you know, the folks, uh, the sort of new Wimbly Wombly midfield a little bit more, the golden child, et cetera, with their sort of possession game. But Wes Moore's a finisher. You can't put a price on finishing. Okay. Now to Ball John Green, please. That's not a bad cross. Ball John Green stood still. He stood still. He did not go to the ball. That's confusing and angering. Um, oh, Wes Moore almost again. So, sorry, I'm getting excited. So I, there are, like, differences to different points in life, right? Like, your concerns or some of your concerns are different when you're, ball John Green, what the frick is going on with you, man? Like, it's like you're not even looking for the ball. Um, there are some, some of your concerns are going to be different when you're 15 than when you're 40. That's just the nature. Oh, ball John Green, you got to finish there. He had some space. That's the nature of being uh, a, a human, right? Like, um, you're not as worried about mortgages, hopefully, when you're 15 as you are when you're 40. Um, but there are some concerns that are universal that hopefully makes, uh, makes stuff relevant uh, across generations. Or at least, like, my favorite stuff is relevant across generations. Um, because th th a lot of the emotional stuff doesn't, doesn't change. You know, a lot of the um, desire to connect to people and to do cool things together and to talk about interesting stuff with people you care about, a lot of that does Oh, no! Oh, no! Were you offside? Yes! Yes! Did you know he was offside, Meredith? Could you just tell? Oh. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. She just said I like the way you said it. Um, I, I, I don't understand why I'm not a play-by-play -play announcer for real soccer games. I'm better than some of the, some of the people they have on TV these days. Um, I'm not naming names, Alexi Lawless, but, uh, but I think I could do it for a living. Um, so so I, uh, I, I, I hope that I make stuff that's relevant for lots of people. But certainly, like, there are episodes of the Wimbly Womblies, you know, that are about, uh, like, you know, 
should I go to college or not? Well, that's not a particularly relevant question for someone who's 40 and already went to college. And I do think about that a lot. Like, how do you make stuff that's relevant to a broad swath of people? Or at least, like, so that the, um, the relevance isn't about like, or the point of connection isn't about obvious demographics like age or race or socioeconomic class or anything like that, because I do want to make stuff that's, um, that's, that's for a broad tent in that sense, although not necessarily for a broad tent generally. Like, I want it to be people who love, get their ball, John Green. Oh, my God. Did you get drunk last night? Did JJ keep you up all night? Sorry, I just hit the mic stand because I'm so angry. That's a clear finishing opportunity. Ball, John Green having himself a difficult game. There's no two ways about it. Do you agree, Meredith? She agrees. Oh, it's frustrating. So, um, point being, I, you know, I hope that uh, I hope that the stuff that I make is relevant to that. Like, obviously, you want it to be relevant. I, I want the Wimbly Womblies uh, videos to be relevant to the core audience of people. Uh, you know, the Venn diagram of people who love terrible FIFA playing and want mediocre advice. That's uh, that's who I want Wimbly Womblies to be relevant to first and foremost. But then, secondly. Um, I want the Wimbly Wombly's to be relevant to, uh, you know, to, to people who um, also, you know, like, I don't know, are teenagers and nerd fighters. Um, but, of course, like, lots and lots of nerd fighters aren't teenagers. There's this sort of narrative that, that most nerd fighters are in high school or in college, and that's, it's true. Um, but it's, it's a small most, right? Like, we're talking about, when we talk about most, we're talking about maybe 60%, which is, a, which is a huge percentage. But it's also a tiny thank you. Thank you for recognizing that that was... Oh, I was offside. I went too fast. I have too much, I have too much speed and power and quality. It's my fault. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, like, if you're talking about 60 40 percent of 200,000 people I'm really bad at math, but you're talking about something like 80,000 people. Right? So... 80,000, yes, it's a small percentage, but it's a high number. And I want to make things that are relevant to those 80,000 people um, because I don't want Nerdfighteria to become a place that's, that's just, some, just something that's, that, or just somewhere that teenagers hang out, a virtual place, but still a place. Um, I, don't want it to be, uh, I don't want it to be about demographics that way because I find those kinds of demographics really uninteresting. And also I think that if you're doing stuff that's only relevant to... Uh, to one particular demographic base, then you're maybe not doing it right. So I think you've got to have broad, you know, it, it has to be a niche audience. Like, obviously, most people aren't going to want to watch the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Womblies, and I know that, and that's part of why I love making it. Um, you want to have a niche audience, but at the same time, you want to have an audience that feels passionate and connected. Wait, is, are we in the semifinals of the FA Cup? Is that possible? Because there's only one other game going on. Newcastle versus Alexandra Crew, which I didn't even know they were a football club. So that's encouraging. I hope I get to play them next time. Why didn't I get to play them this time? It'd be great to have played someone like that in the semifinals. Come on, don't let them run the ball all the way around. Thank you, Ball John Green. That was a nice moment of tracking back from B BJG. I've been thinking about calling him BJG. <laughs> and... Uh, and OJG, yeah, I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it new and fresh and hip for the young people. Um, I feel like you could have done a smidge better there, Sebi, but it's okay. I'm not mad at you. We're just going to defend this corner. We're going to do a good job. So yeah, the long and short of it for me is that I want to. Um, I I don't want old nerd fighters like myself to feel ostracized by new nerd fighters. But I also think like I don't know. It's interesting to participate in those conversations when young people ask whether they should go to college or or, you know, ask, like, romantic advice questions or whatever. I think it's interesting for those of us who are older to participate in those conversations. I think we can learn something about them uh, from those questions, too, even if we're not learning about them in the same, like, direct way or, like, asking them in the same direct way. So I don't know. I think that it's not such a bad thing. Speaking of when not such a bad thing, why didn't you just run and be one-on-one -on -one with the keeper? Because that would have been amazing. Oh, I love that tracking back ball, John Green. I love it. You know what? When he has a difficult game like today, where he's just, that was terrible by other John Green, OJG. Um, when he has a difficult game, ball John Green, he w tries to make up. This is something I really admire about him. He tries to make up for it. He works really hard to make up for it using his other skills. Like, he's like, okay, well, I don't have my finishing today. That sucks. I want to I score a goal for my team, for my son, JJ, whom I love more than anyone else in the world except for my husband. 
But like, if that's not, oh god, everything worked out better than expected. If that's not going to happen, then like, okay, then oh wow. I mean, I think Seb Brown just scared him. He just got scared of Seb, and who wouldn't? It's just a big, strong, hulking man. Oh my god, they're bringing on a guy named Collision. Meredith, they're taking off Stuart Downing and they're bringing on Collision. It's worrisome. Collision seems like the kind of guy who could score a 90th minute goal. Oh, speaking of which, have I told you guys yet that the, uh, that the actual AFC Wimbledon beat the actual franchise 3-2 to two by making three substitutions all at once just like the pros do? And that the third goal looked like a FIFA goal? It was amazing! The winning goal by uh, Akin Fenwa um, looked so much like the Wimbly Wombly's that, like, back to back, you couldn't tell if it was a Wimbly Wombly goal or not. All right, we obviously have some problems with fatigue, so we're going to go ahead and make some substitutions. Starting with. Is Yabamba on the bench? Oh, he's on the bench. Not anymore, you're not, Yabamba. Settle in. And then this. And then a hot slice of Dicko. All right, three substitutions all at once, just like the pros do. Let's see how it goes. Let's bring them on. Let's bring on the new boys. Wait, I don't get to... That's strange and unpleasant. Come on. There we go. I love this. I love this new, the Wimbly Wombly, just killer defense. That's awesome. That is an awesome pass. Awesome pass to Ball John Green. Ball John Green. Oh, he's taking off the ball. Oh, Pass the ball! Oh! Desperate defending from West Ham United and it works. Don't worry, we're gonna get back to that. Just pass back, and then Big B. Big B! Oh god, I was scared there for a second. I just kicked it as far as I could. That was my strategy. Why haven't we made our substitutions yet? I'm a little... Okay. Leave it. Great stuff, ball John Green. You may not be a finisher, but you're a passer. Oh, I love it. Ball John Green, it's you, it's got to be, and it is! It is! Finally! Ball John Green! Kiss the ground! Oh, Ball John Green, John Green. He gives it all for the team upon his mustache. We're keen, Ball John Green, John Green. What a beautiful finish. What a beautiful mustache. What a beautiful man. He had a difficult day all day long, but with his last touch of the ball, the, uh, it hits his beautiful head and it goes into the net. I love it. We're going to make some substitutions here. No hurry, boys. On comes Dicko, Dini, and ya, 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 bamba. This is awesome. This is fun. I can't, are we really going to go to the finals of the FA Cup? We're going to play in Wembley? I can't, it, it seems like it's too early in the season to have qualified for the finals, but... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hope. Oh, that's a nice ball, but unfortunately, you were passing to a 16-year-old, and he's not as, not as quick as you'd like. Um, we have, I think, more teenagers. Uh, oh, Dicko almost just took that ball and scored a goal. Oh, that would have been amazing. I love. I, Meredith, have I ever told you how much more I love it when Dicko scores than when anyone else scores? I just love it. It just makes me so happy. Like when I see Dicko on goal or near the goal. I just, I feel this visceral, physical excitement. This kid, Falksegard, despite being exhausted, has had himself a football game. Oh, Falksegard. Wow, Dini was just doing the, uh, he was just doing the moonwalk. That's nice. Yes, I like seeing you dejected. Sorry. Sorry. I should mention that Rosiana, my uh, friend and, and assistant, and uh, who's not, not just an assistant, I don't really know how to refer to Rosiana. Vice President of Operations for Nerdfighteria. Anyway, Rosiana is a huge West Ham fan. Huge, huge, huge. And I never root against West Ham because I don't like, it's not in my best interest to have a pissed off Rosiana. But obviously, it's, it's the Wimbly Wombly's. I, I mean, you know, I got to support them today. Um, go, get on the ball. Oh, Dicko. Oh, Dicko, you didn't do enough. Well, I hate to say it, but Ball John Green would have made that, made that work. Oh, my God. Oh, they're just tearing through my defense. Oh, Seb Brown. Off the deflection, hits Buxton in the butt. Seb Brown makes the save, and the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies are moving on in the FA Cup. Congratulations to Ball John Green and to Les Moore. Sometimes Les Moore is the exact right amount of more. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.